area for complex or compound shapes. What happens if you have to find the area of a more complex or a compound shape like this? The formula length times width is still used, but it is not a straightforward equation like before as there are multiple steps involved now. We are going to show you two methods to find the areas of complex shapes. Using the first method, we are going to draw a dotted line like this, so now we have two rectangles. Let's call this rectangle A1 and this rectangle A2. Now all we have to do is find the area of each of the rectangles and add them together. 20 square meters plus 50 square meters is equal to 70 square meters. So the total area of the original complex shape is 70 square meters. For the second method, we are going to pretend that we have a large square or rectangle to work with using the longest dimensions of the original complex shape. In this particular case, it's a rectangle. Let's pretend that this is our area 1, which we will call A1 for short. The dimensions for A1 are 12 meters and 10 meters. A1 has an area of 120 square meters. Now we are going to find the area that has been cut out of the original complex shape, which is this one. The equation would be 10 times 5, which equals to 50 square meters. We've now reached the last step for this method. To find the total area of the original complex shape, we need to deduct A2 from A1. 120 square meters minus 50 square meters is 70 square meters. Now you know two different methods to calculating areas for complex shapes. 